All right, let's talk about Jordan Addison, the first round pick by the Minnesota Vikings, someone who, uh, you know, we saw him finally play NFL uh, football, so definitely fascinated to talk about him. Definitely uh, someone who the Vikings are expecting a lot of. I think he's probably going to be start the year as the number two wide receiver. So let's see what we saw from him. He only had one catch in the game, but had plenty of other snaps. So let's just get into it. Starting off with this play, they tried to get him involved very early on. We're, you know, uh, just a, a minute into the football game at this point, and his route is a relatively simple one. Just try and get into a gap in coverage over the middle of the field. Underneath, okay, simple enough. Well, right when this play begins, you're going to see the quarterback take the snap and looks into Addison's direction, and there is a small window for this to to work. Again, uh, the way Addison kind of set this up, is kind of uh, looked like he was almost faking as though he was going to run closer to the middle of the field, but it's now cutting back. Uh, and again, on paper, there appears to be a window. This throw is made, and Addison gets his hands on it, but it gets broken up by the safety. I don't really know if you can blame Addison for that one too much. I wanted to show it because it's an interesting play uh, that involved him. But at the end of the day, the safety came in and made a good play. I think if you're a harsh critic, you could say, hey, uh, you're going to have to be able to make the catch wonders contact on certain plays. And while that is true, that wasn't really a major issue that I saw in college. So I wouldn't uh, freak out too much about it necessarily. We did see him show flashes. Let's talk about one of those flashes where it's going to be uh, zone coverage and you see the route that he's running. It's going to try to get into a gap in coverage right here. Watch how when this play begins. He is going to go off screen for a second, so we don't see the exact cut, but it's not like he gets a ton of separation right here. That's not really what happens, but there is a window for this throw to be made. However, uh, the quarterback's going to kind of do something where it almost feels like he's uh, daring Addison to make a tough catch. He's kind of trying to throw it a bit further away because at the end of the day, you don't want to throw an interception right here. And, you know, Jordan Addison's a good uh, receiver. Let's see what he can do here. Let's put the ball uh, sort of, you know, outside, uh, out of bounds and see if Addison can make the play. And as you see, Addison makes a, a really incredible uh, acrobatic catch right there. So that was definitely the big flash that he showed in this football game was the ability to do something like that. So, hey, that's something that gets you excited if you're a Vikings fan. Again, he's supposed to be sort of an Adam Thielen replacement. Uh, they kind of moved off of Thielen after he had a down year last year, uh, brought Addison on board. And so far, Addison has, uh, you know, he's done, uh, you know, if he can do this, and he can do this, this consistently, definitely something to get you excited about. Now, heading over here, I saw him make some rookie mistakes, which, like, is going to happen, right? Unless you're Justin Jefferson, typically you come in and there's some growing pains. And I thought that that happened. And one of the things I think some young players just need to learn when they get to the NFL at the wide receiver position is sometimes the moves that work at the college level don't work at the NFL level. And sometimes you have to do a little bit more to try and get open. Something like this, hey, easy route, just running a quick route over the middle against zone coverage. I mean, in college, let's just be honest, when you're going up against a, a college linebacker and you're Jordan Addison, you're just winning every single time in this. So it's not something you have to pay too much attention to like route running and little details. You just run your route and you're faster than everyone and you get open. Well, right when this play begins, you see him, you know, at this point he's getting ready to cut and I would still say he's doing a pretty decent job, but I do wonder if Addison's someone who might have to learn a little bit to, you know, uh, throw some fakes in there, make it seem like you're doing one thing and do something else. Throw that in there, here and there. That could, I think, help him out a lot. It's not something I saw him do a ton at the college level. So I'm wondering if this is something he's going to have to learn at the NFL level, because as you see, I mean, there's just no separation right there. The ball comes, but there was there was no window. I mean, that honestly uh, shouldn't have even the ball shouldn't shouldn't have even been thrown in that direction. I don't think. Maybe you could have thrown it low and hoped for a tough catch again. But at the end of the day, I mean, that was just it wasn't open. And you know, when you're when you have sort of a mismatch right there, you do kind of hope that you can take advantage a little bit more. You know, that was that was a linebacker. That was Devin Bush, uh, the linebacker, uh, who hasn't necessarily been a, a, a fantastic linebacker uh, either. Uh, you know, he wears number zero, so it's hard to tell what position he plays until you look it up. But yes, uh, you know, I mean, that's a mismatch that you would like to see Addison take advantage of. I could see him, uh, you know, learning how to do it, though, as his career goes along. Also, stuff like this, one more negative that I did see. Again, I talk about the positives. I talk about the negatives. This isn't just a hype video. This is an analysis. And this was another, uh, you know, I didn't love his blocking. It wasn't anything crazy, but in the few snaps we saw him block, I didn't think it was fantastic. 
Watch how when this play begins, you see him step up, and he's in okay position to make this block. I just think I would like to see him have a little more aggressiveness in creating the contact right here. Because as you see, he doesn't really make any contact. He kind of lets the block, lets the attacker, the defender, come to him. And by the time that, you know, that happens, the defender's able to just you know, get to the side of him and, you know, he makes the tackle right there. So again, little stuff like that, or it's not anything crazy, but these are just the things that I did notice. And again, maybe in the regular season, he'll care more about blocking than he does in the preseason. I don't know, but still that is what I saw. But there also were flashes uh, of stuff like this where you see where he is on the field. This isn't anything crazy. He's not even going to get uh, the ball or anything like that. Uh, you know, it's not going to get thrown to him. But just watch what he does. Watch as, you know, he starts off as though he's running up, but then goes uh, towards the bottom of the screen. Pretty good cut right there. The defender was still uh, playing that pretty well, but I would say still a good route by Addison. So again, he showed some flashes of doing it. Uh, as a whole, I think this was an overall positive game from him because of the flashes, even if I do have some nitpicks as well. So yeah, I mean, as a whole, to me, this was a positive performance from Jordan Addison. Listen, it wasn't a perfect performance, I didn't think. I had some I had some notes, I had some nitpicks in his performance, but you know what? It's It almost never happens that I don't have some notes or nitpicks from a player after they played one preseason game, right? There's almost always going to be some good snaps and some bad snaps. And I think what you, what I was hoping out of Jordan Addison was that he could just show me that he has the capability to be a number two receiver. Because that's hard. Trying to come into the league right away and being a number two receiver, replacing Adam Thielen, that, that's, those are tough shoes to fill. Um, and I think that he showed that he can at least do it in burst. Maybe he won't be able to do it consistently right away. And we'll just see as we get more of a sample size how well he'll be able to do. But he did make a couple of really impressive plays and maybe had a couple learning experiences as well well which again for the preseason is totally not the worst case scenario and I, I also should mention this while it is hard to be a number two receiver the Vikings have a bit more of a new school approach their number two receiver isn't just going to sit on the outside and try to win there all the time and when your number one receiver is uh you know uh, Justin Jefferson it's going to be a little bit easier to get open that way. It's a little bit more attention getting put on him than if your number one receiver was, uh, you know, uh, someone who isn't very good. Uh, so that definitely should, I think, help out him as well. So, yeah, those are my thoughts on Addison and how he played. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.